How can you be that angry? Look at your eyes. They are red. And look at you trembling with anger. Hey, don't be, blame me. That's how my daddy used to be. My daddy will not be like that. That's my nature. My nature will not be like that. I said your nature will not be like that. Nature of anger. Nature of bitterness. Nature of being morose and sad and sorrowful. No joy. Our nature will change this year in Jesus' name. Just giving us a divine nature. That by this he may be partakers of the divine nature. Having escaped the corruption that is in the world through loss. But that divine nature he has made us, number one, a new creature. Number two, he has given us a new heart. Number three, he has put within us a new spirit. Number four, he has given us a new covenant. Number five, he's giving us a new talk. Number six, he's giving us new commandments. Number seven, we become a new law. That's a new man. That's a new nature. That you reveal what it means to be new. A new creature. A new heart. A new spirit. With a new covenant. Speaking with new tongue. Obeying the new commandments. Looking like, behaving like a new love. Number one, a new creature. We're looking at Second Second Corinthians chapter five. Second Corinthians chapter five, and I'm reading from verse seventeen. Second Corinthians chapter five, verse seventeen. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. This year, you'll be a new creature. I will be a new creature. At any time an idea comes to you to say what you used to say, say, no, I'm a new creature now. To think the way you used to think, you say, no, I'm a new creature now. And to look angry, like you used to look angry, furious and fierce. As you looked, you used to look furious and fierce. No, I cannot do that again. I am a new creature. Anytime there's a temptation or a trial or something pushing you, to be aggressive and bounce off other people, trample on other people like an old, like an old lion. Say, no, I'm a new creature now. If anyone be in Christ, it's a new, new creature. Old things are passed away, and then it says, and all things are what? All things are become new. Anytime that you are tempted to disrespect our coordinator, our group coordinator, Anytime you are tempted to do like you did before, that you know some of those coordinators, they just leave you to yourself. Ephraim is by himself. Leave him alone. Ephraim has joined himself to idols. Leave him alone. And you know our coordinators, they are gentle people, and they are nice people, and they are great leaders. They don't want to fight with anybody. And once you become kind of fierce and furious, they say, that's fire. Leave him alone. Leave her alone. But this year, you will not leave us alone. Because our attitude will change, we'll respect them, we'll love them, we'll obey them, and we're going to listen to them. And then the nature of the new creature, the attitude of the new creature is going to show through us in Jesus' name. And the same thing we're going to do to the pastor. You know, sometimes the pastor will say, well, how can you have a crowd like this and not have at least one backslider? You know, among the twelve, you have only one Judas Iscariot. And then, you know, can you have a crowd like this and not have one backslider? And so, when somebody there is doing something, the pastor will just say, Ephraim is joined in such a just let him alone. That's another Ephraim joined her such a just let Levi alone. And pastor, go your way and don't look at them. But this year, you will not do it like that. I will not leave you alone. There's a magnet between you and I connecting us together. And then I cannot look away from you now because now you become a new creature. New attitude. New gentleness. New behavior. A new response to the message. And this year we're going to see that newness in our lives in Jesus' name. Therefore, if any man, any woman, be Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. New creature, now new heart. New heart. I'm looking at Ezekiel chapter 36. 
Ezekiel chapter 36. And we're reading verse 25 and verse 26. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 25. Then when I sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean. From all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. And I will, in your heart also, will I give you. Praise the Lord. It's a gift. You are going to have that gift today. And a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you, and I will give you an heart of flesh. Let's look at Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 19. Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 19. Number one, a new creature. Number two, is a new heart. Number three, is a new spirit. Ezekiel chapter 11 verse, verse 19. And I will give them one heart and I will put a new spirit within you. And I will take the stony heart out of their flesh. I will give them, give them, give them what? A heart of flesh. I'll take the stony heart. I'll take the stubborn heart. I'll take the self-willed heart. I'll take the hardened heart. I'll take the incorrigible heart. I'll take the stiff neck out of them. And I will give them a an heart of flesh. And then the Lord will make a new covenant with us. And with that new covenant, there will be a new blessing in every life in Jesus' name. Hebrews chapter 8, I'm reading from verse 8. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 8. A new covenant. A new covenant. Hebrews chapter 8. And we're looking at verse 8. For finding fault of them, he says, Behold, the days come, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Verse 10. So this is the covenant, the new covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind. I will put my laws into their mind. The new man will not be lawless, but law abiding. Will not be lawless, but law abiding. You see, when you are old, the old man, old creature, old behavior, old character, the old man is lawless. The old, the old character is lawless. The old creature is lawless. They behave as if there's no Bible, as if there's no principle, as if there is no law. Lawless. But it says, I'm going to have a new covenant with them. And when I make that new covenant with them, I'll put my laws into their minds and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. This year, nobody will be lawless here. The Lord will write His law in our hearts. That is the new covenant He makes with us. And we're very conscious of that every time. We're carrying that in our hearts, in our mind, every time, in our spirit, in our soul, every time. And we're remembering that it's only the old creature that is lawless. Only the old creature that is lawless. And if you are law-abiding, a real child of God, a new creature with a new heart, with a new spirit, with a new covenant, then you say, I'm going to be law-abiding. Can we say that together? I will be law-abiding. Say that again. Say that once again. You will be law-abiding in Jesus' name. Number five, a new tongue. A new tongue. A new tongue. A new watch. Tell me out loud. A new tongue. We're looking at Mark chapter Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. I'm reading from verse 17. And this sign shall follow them that believe. Are the believers here today? I said, are believers here today? This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. Anywhere you go, before you open your mouth, devils will flee away. Do you remember that when the Ark of, the Ark of the Covenant was stolen by the Philistines, they put the Ark of the Covenant where? In the shrine of Dagon, their idol. And there was no priest there, there was no Levite there, and there was no preacher there, and there was nobody there to command anything. But when they woke up in the morning, Dagon was 
falling just by the presence of that 